I am back with another hideous creation, which is this lava deck here. Um, I'm going to do a grand challenge with it if it's successful, because I don't have the funding for just throwing decks into grand challenges. This is going to be a control deck. As you can see, there's no lava loon or lava miner, but it's just going to be relying on lava chip. I'll explain to you when we get into match why I think that will work, but we've got a very fearsome foursome right here with the Mega Minion, Minions, Archer Queen, E-Dragon. I think it's going to be great. We'll hop into some games with this deck and see how it does. All right, so I was talking about how I think Lava will be enough just to get damage with because like what if we just Lava Chip? What if we just... Like, see, like, look at this. He has a balloon. Okay, we have four answers to his balloon. Like, this is, this is going to be insane. Now, I was going to say that I think the strategy with this deck is going to be to just go with uh, defense the entire game and then lavas and lava chip and double. It's just a defensive deck. But honestly, I, I could not tell you what the strategy is with this deck. We're kind of just like going with the flow here. We're going to go with the queen um, because she is going to wrap up this stuff. And then she's going to take care of the muskie. She's going to pop her ability so she doesn't die real quick. And then maybe she'll uh, get some good damage on this next card over here. Alright, we're just going to go with the Tombstone on the Dark Prince. He's chilling. Alright, now, now we can deal with this with just the E-Dragon as the Balloon gets pulled and is getting hit by the tower. Look at that E-Dragon value. This deck is a message to the haters. Because they all been saying, oh, E-Dragon never going to work in Lava Hound. Oh, you're so dumb. Yes, it is. It will work, I promise. I By hook or by crook, I will find a deck that runs E-Dragon in Lava Hound and works. Alrighty, so we're kind of chilling here, actually. We're up in damage, which is surprising. We don't have a win condition. Here, out comes the queen. Let's see what he's got to put in front of that queen. So he could do anything. So we might just go with the guards here. And she'll wrap up the guards. Or, or okay. He just doesn't use the bell. I was completely thinking of an ability there, but um, no problem. We don't have to worry about it. I'll just go with the tombstone again on this dark prince. That also pulls the ice golem. I guess that's kind of nice. Oh, also he jumps over the river. I guess that's an interesting situation there. Uh, he's going to go with this again. We're just going to go with the Archer Queen ability here. Uh, I don't even think that gets Death Bomb. Maybe it does, but even if it does, who really cares? It doesn't. Good job by the Archer Queen there. Never thought I'd say that in my life. I hate the Archer Queen. But anyways, um, Arrows being our only spell is kind of fine because I think we have a lot of a lot of other units. See, like here, we're just going to get so much E-Dragon value. And then we're just going to Arrows that. And we kill the Queen. And just like that, we have, like, another queen ready and another Lava Hound ready. So what we're going to do is just going to plan a Mega Minion defense. And then we're going to go in with another Lava Hound because that seems pretty cool. Okay, we're going to go with another Lava Hound. The cycle is cut by a card because of the queen. So we're going to just play her in the back, try and see if we can cycle, get uh, some queen. And the problem is he also has the queen, so it's not like the cycle difference is huge. But right now, we're not going to have a problem defending much of anything. He has the balloon, but, you know, we have a bajillion air counters. So this is going to be fun. Here we're going to use the Archer Queen's ability right here. And she's just going to smack these boys. Ooh, she kills both of them. That was actually kind of cool there. That's pretty cool. And the Archer Queen going to get some good hits off on that Musketeer. Almost kills it. Totally not a broken card. We go with the minions here. Gets pulled by our tombstone placed in a good spot. We're going to arrows everything here. Knocks off the Dark Prince shield. Kills the musketeer. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go with the E-Dragon. Because I haven't went with the offensive E-Dragon yet. It's going to get some good chain. Let's get this uh, Ice Golem out of here. Oh, and a nice chain early on. Oh, another nice chain from this E-Dragon. It's doing work. Alright, so the E-Dragon is going to hit the king. To oh, it's going to reset the queen as well. That's huge. Good job from our uh, little buddy over there. And now we're. This is the test. This is the test here, right here. It's got two air counters down, but we do kill the musketeer. And yeah, he just. No way to break through this. Maybe if he had freeze, but like he just has no way to break through this. So we're just chilling out here. Uh, we're gonna go with another lava hound. We're gonna go with the queen. We gotta be a little careful because I think he, I'm gonna go with the queen over here because I think he's, he's trying to. Trying to go other lane. Oh, we had a little lag spike there. That's a little annoying. I'm going to call this back. Uh, just so we can get a Mega Minion down. And we will take like one hit, I think. Or maybe two. Worst case scenario from the balloon. 
That's not the worst thing that could happen, but over here we've got a chilling. Oh, 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 this isn't good. Boys, this is not good. You dragging down, but uh oh. Get, got that ability out quick. Uh oh. Oh, the Dark Prince gets killed. Okay, okay, this is scary. This is scary. We can't get another lava down, dude. Okay, we're good to do it. We're gonna do it. We got we gotta wrap up this defense here though. I'm gonna go with the E Dragon because it's gonna chain everything, and then we're gonna go with the tombstone. We're gonna pull everything over here, and then we're gonna use the Oh he tornadoes, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, we're getting chip, we're getting chip, doing everything we Oh, this is intense. That is a good win, boys. It got scary towards the end because my defense is lackluster, but a very good dub over there. Um excited about that one. Let's hop into the next game. Okay, boys, we're playing against Miguel. I'm pretty sure we faced like five Miguels on this channel, but you know, whatever. <laughs> There's this it's kind of crazy. Anyways, he goes um What is he doing? He's going really heavy cycle. I feel like he's a new like cycle player who just spams cycle cards in the back. Anyways, um Possibly could have activated King Tower there. Uh, and sadly we don't because I'm inept. Please don't go for that one skeleton. Okay, we're we're fine, we're chilling. Um I'm actually gonna go with the early lava here. See, the goal, I think, is uh, maybe maybe we should try and get a bunch of damage in single as much as we can. And then we can go for defense the entire double. We're going to go with the queen here. Um, it's a little weird. Go with the ability. Yeah, that, that doesn't really do anything for us. He's going to spend a lot of elixir, though. Look at that lava over there chipping away. <clears throat> We're actually going to go with the arrows here. It's going to kill this Tesla. And we keep our minions alive, so he's forced to play a delivery early, and therefore we get the lava pups down. That's pretty, pretty clutch, pretty clutch there. We're up two thousand. I'm sorry, we're up one thousand damage. That's definitely where we want to be. Um, I'm thinking here. We'll go with the tombstone. Um, we'll go with the mega minion in the back. And then I'll think about what we're going to do next. Because we don't really have to get worried about this Dark Prince yet. Unless he plays with the Miner, then we'll just go with the Archer Queen. He goes the Miner over there. That's uh, that's actually pretty interesting. I don't know if that was trying to bait me or whatever. But we're just going to go with the Guards Heavy here. Um, we, we got a little push incoming. Um, we're going to kill that Dark Prince. We're going to kill those Skeletons. Archer Queen's going to be a threat. Um, we get a, we get two hits from the Archer Queen as well. It's like 550 damage. Very plus there. He keeps going opposite lane. I don't really understand that. But this should be a pretty easy matchup. He's playing like this minor cycle type deck. I think he has Rocket though. But let's just try not to give him Rocket value. Another misplay on a building by me. Um, I've done that earlier today. It was just yucky. I played something into, I think it was another Tesla match. I played something into a Tesla and it just didn't, it went exactly how this one. It like targeted the wrong unit and I ended up looking like a fool. He does have Rocket, but does it matter at this point? Look at the guards on the left lane, by the way. They're going to take the tower down a little bit. Now we're going to go with the stealth mode on the queen here. And uh, we're looking pretty, pretty snazzy here. I, I just think we get more damage than him, even though we don't have the loon. As you can see there, oh... I guess not. I guess we'll just cycle. This guy wants to be mean. Um, we'll just go with the minions over here. It's not a big deal. We take a hit, but yeah, whatever. Let's go with the Archer Queen. And then we'll go with the arrows. Um, pretty chill. Pretty good win there. And now we will head into another match with the beautiful, beautiful Lava Control deck. Alright guys, we are playing Nova RSC, and uh, he, a little weird starting hand from us there, but we'll just have to go with the E-Dragon. I like to keep it as a surprise card, but it's kind of whatever. I'm thinking he's going to play an air card to finish that off now, but he just doesn't. So I'm thinking maybe it's Fireball Arrows. Yep, okay. That's unfortunate there, but the minions do a great job at wrapping up skeletons, and he doesn't even use the ability. He probably knows um, they do a great job. And so here, we're going to go with the arrows. They're going to kill the zappies early. And I know he used fireball and arrows. So we're going to get a lot of damage before we can get to another one. Sadly, he does get to another one pretty fast. Because the, um, the three card cycle from the queen. Um, I'm sorry, the king 
a little annoying there, but uh, I'm interested to see how this matchup goes. I feel like we can play around with Arrow's Bait. Um, maybe if a Skeleton King isn't on the board, because that way we can abuse the guards on defense and the minions on offense. Uh, we'll go with the Queen here, because it's going to shred most of his tank units, and then we can just kind of uh, defend his graveyard. Okay, so I'm actually going to go with a Tombstone here, even though it feeds the Skelly King. We're going to take most of him out here uh, with the Queen ability, which is looking just fine. And now we're going to go in with the Lava Hound. It just uses arrows, which is actually very interesting because arrows did literally nothing. And so now, even if he was to pressure us, it wouldn't really work because the arrows are out of his hand. The Inferno Dragon won't get too much value as long as we can get that uh, E-Drag to the tower. Let's not give him Fireball Arrows value, though. Go with the arrows here. Uh, take out the Tombstone. That's nice there. And then we'll go with the Mega Minion. He does arrows again. But arrows on offense means he's not spending it on defense. I mean, arrows on defense for him means he's not spending it on offense. So we'll just go with this. We will go with the guards, and uh, he does not back to an he's not back to another one. So big plus there from us. And now we're just gonna go with an aggressive lava hound here. Took a little bit of damage, but that's fine and dandy. We'll be a little careful here because he's gonna get fireball arrows value if we are not careful there. Um, here goes this ability and um, the queen going in, dealing some damage to the inferno dragon, so we don't have to. Uh, the Mega Minion coming in hot, and then we'll go with the Tombstone as well. We're actually going to go with another Lava Hound here. Sadly, the Mega Minion does go in front, but it is whatever because I'm going to force him to use a lot of Elixir on defense here. The Zappies are very annoying in my opinion because they do not let me get as much Lava Chip as I would like. Um, but we're we're fine here. We're going to take out that Tombstone. We're going to severely damage those Zappies. going to go with the Queen here. I know he's not back to fireball arrows, and if he tries to get back to fireball arrows for the queen, then we will just go in on offense. I think that's what he's trying to do here, but the queen is going to hold up. Um, again, we're getting into a situation where I want to be a little careful here, and this is a good position to use the E-Dragon, even though the queen was doing what she was doing. Um, annoyed on the arrows there. But the E-Dragon does also help out because he doesn't let the skill thinking use his ability. Definitely a plus. Um, he goes another Fireball, but we're just winning this matchup right now. I'm going to go with the Tombstone back here. The Archer Queen up here. Tombstone's uh, going to provide some support against the Graveyard Push. Now we're just going to do this. Then we go with the Lava Hound. The Queen's going to sit back here. We're going to be a little careful here. We're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. And we got the arrows if things get nasty here. And they are looking to get a little nasty. So we're going to go with the arrows. I felt so cringe saying that, but who cares? Or it's, who cares when you're having fun, mate? We're going to get another lava down on the board, and there's nothing you're going to do about it. And then we are going to go in with the minions one last time. we got to be a little careful here. Sadly, the E-Dragon did literally nothing. Um, but that's uh, that's the case, sadly, one too many times with the E-Dragon. However, only 16 seconds left, so I think we'll be fine. Just going to go with the E-Dragon here. Kind of stuff the bridge. Um, and then we'll just go with the guards and we're chill five seconds left We're just gonna win this matchup against a deck. That's pretty common and pretty annoying. So definitely Definitely nice that we won that there One more game versus CH in random Chinese letters. Um, okay Anyways CHN guys are pretty pro, so this is bound to be a pretty exciting matchup. We are not going lava first play, contrary to popular belief. That is not a good play, especially when we don't have Loon or Miner. So, he goes with Dark Prince. I don't care, I don't care. You can go with the Dark Prince all you want. Now we're just going to uh, probably play guards on it. That's a good play. And now we have a little counter push coming in here. Um, we'll just go ahead and arrow set actually so that he has to spend oh good arrows by the way It's too bad. That it doesn't really do anything, but he did overspend um, on like three plus three plus Yeah, whatever. We're just gonna go lava here It's probably not a bad lava. He spent a uh, good six elixir there. Um, okay Got the minions probably don't wrap this up. Wait, maybe we do we'll pull this guy over here the minions minions are coming Okay, the arrows come in, but there's only two skeletons left. 
So we could just probably go with the Mega Minion here, and then we don't even lose the tower. We don't even... We barely take 50% damage here. Now we're looking for minions. We, we, those arrows were not necessary. But big plus there. Uh, we're just... I was thinking, I was like, wait, wait, wait a second. We could defend this because we only, we only have to spend six clicks here and he spent ten. So, um, good play by us. This is also a good play by us here. Can wait the last possible minute and pop it. Good stuff. Look at that. That's not broken at all. We just got 2,200 damage, dude. That's, that's dummy thick. Electro Dragon. Uh, we may go guards. I th think, yeah, we'll go guards. He just keeps playing a lot of cards. They're going to go over here. And the E-Dragon is really going to help out on those minions um, here. He's going to kill both of them, actually. And uses the arrows. So now his, he can't stop a minion's play. And he also can't stop... He can go in with graveyard. That's kind of interesting, in my opinion. We'll get ready for this uh, Skarmy coming in. Uh, ability, uh, the skeletons are dead, the minions are taking severe damage, and just like that, I mean, <laughs> I'd be surprised if this game is <laughs> gonna last much longer, to be honest with you. Arrows here. Uh, we'll go with the guards as well. Um, yeah, the E-Dragon 2, and yeah, he's just not gonna, it's not happening, boy. Two graveyard matchups in a row. This deck really hard counters graveyard. Let's see if we can't get that one last tower. And we can. Very good way to end the video, guys. If you do want to, I'm going to do more testing with this. See if it's actually good. And we may even do it in a grand challenge. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And I'll see you later.